Let's take a closer look at the chord curve. Now, the chord curve is here in the curve drop down menu, and again, we can change this to any type that we want, but for now, let's leave it as a cubic bezier. Notice how down here we have access to all of the different chord over R values for each of these control points here, 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 and here. And if we want to, we can change how the tangencies are set, both in angle and strength. But for the time being, let's say, for example, that we know a certain chord distribution that we want to implement manually rather than trying to import it in. Let's say that we know that we want the chord down at the root to be three inches, but in this case, we're working with a six foot diameter prop. Well, we can either go through the trouble of putting that in and calculating it and then typing in the decimal value, or because again, OpenVSP has smart input, we can take three inches divided by 12 and then divide that by the three foot radius and we get 0.08333 and we're set. So you can do that math in the input box and you're off to the races. So if you want, you can also set the position of these R values to be wherever you like, and you can adjust these things however you want to go. So it's very easy to come in and manually set the chord distribution. And if you want something quite simple, you can either go to linear or spline, convert to, and let's say that we don't really like how that's being lofted. We can adjust this a little bit, bring that down, and in fact, let's delete that point and we're going to adjust this to be something like that. That's not a bad looking propeller to be honest. So you can come in and manipulate the chord distribution by simply picking a few points, adjusting the parameters either by manually entering them, adjusting the sliders, or interfacing directly with this grid.